Dan went from dealing with aggravating knee pain for five years to this. Yeah, I felt really good. There you go, no knee pain at all. Yeah. Today you're going to see the evaluation I performed on Dan, some of his treatment, and even hear his story and how he's feeling now. So I've had knee pain kind of on and off for, man, probably five years at least. During our initial examination, you can see it was fairly difficult for him to control a single leg squat. He told me it created about 5 out of 10 pain on the ascent. Now, whenever someone has knee pain, you must look at the hips and ankles as problems there are often a driving force in symptoms being created at the knee joint. In Dan's case, we found mobility restrictions on his right side at his ankle with this test and with the Faber test, you can see his right side will be unable to fall out nearly as much as his left, showing his right hip was unable to extend and externally rotate as much as his other side. So rather than to try and diagnose his injury based on a picture of his knee, like many in their traditional medical field would, we can develop a movement diagnosis, which then drives our treatment process. We started with banded joint mobilizations to improve his ankle mobility. With the band on the top of his foot pulling down and back, he drove the knee forward and held for a few seconds. The band needs to be on the top of the foot pulling down on the talus bone of the foot. This helps assist the natural joint mechanics where the tibia moves forward while the talus moves backwards during the motion of ankle dorsiflexion, which is moving into a deeper squat. During retesting, we found great improvements. Now remember the Faber test we found his right side hip could not drop out nearly as far as his left. To work on this I gave him the assisted hip airplane where he opened his hip as far as possible to bring out a good stretch in his right side groin. He did 10 reps for a 5 second hold and again we retested and found good progress. After optimizing his mobility it was then time to rebuild his capacity. Now before starting physical therapy with me, he was trying to do a single leg squat exercise by driving his knee forward. However, this recreated a lot of his pain in his knee. So rather than push his knee over his toe more in the short term, I recommended a single leg squat with more of a hip hinge to teach him how to optimally engage his posterior chain and work his single leg squat pattern but without excessive load on the symptomatic knee. Over the next few months, he was able to progress this to being able to perform a single leg squat higher and higher and eventually off a 16 inch height box completely pain free. I also included some weighted single leg squats off a slightly lower height to work on improving his load capacity. You can see his knee is able to drive past his toe in the deeper squat position but now without any pain. Here's how he felt at this time. 100 times better and once I started doing um, a lot of the like hip strengthening stuff which I mean, when I started doing that, I could tell, I just, I had no, everything was activated in my quads. I had no hip activation. And when I started doing that, it was just like going from a two inch box to a six inch box to an eight inch box. And uh, it was pretty gratifying, but I feel like I can do, uh, you know, most sports exercises. I can do anything around the house picking up the kids without pain, so it's been night and day difference. Because I've been doing a lot of physical therapy over the years. I would say for the past like three and a half years, I was stretching every single morning for 15 minutes and every single night for 15 minutes, trying to get my hamstrings looser, trying to improve back stuff. And, um, you know, I think that helped a little bit. But uh, for me, my light bulb moment was one day I felt sore from the stuff we had done. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna stretch a little bit. And uh, I went from probably being able like to touch not even this far from the ground when I would stand and do a toe touch to being able to put my fingertips on the ground without having stretched at all in three months. So that was pretty eye-opening just to see how the body actually responds to moving better and strengthening. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have